Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on clearing all the text box controls on a user form in Excel VBA. As always, if you find this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. I certainly appreciate it. I have here in Excel this worksheet that contains fictitious data. I'll be using this worksheet for this example. I have four variables on here. One is the record of participants, and I have three variables that I'll be modifying, pretest, post-test, and final exam. And I have this user form already set up and it's associated with this orange rectangle in the top right. And it has three text boxes that correspond to the three variables I have here, pretest, post-test, and final exam. So I can enter three scores in these text boxes and press enter and it enters those values into the record and then resets so I can enter data into the next record. And I want to write code that I can put behind this clear button that will clear all the text box controls on this user form even if I add additional text box controls. So I'm going to move over to the Visual Basic Editor, that's Alt F11. And you can see I have the code here for this current user form. This current user form is named main and it simply has these two command buttons and three text boxes. It also has three labels and these populate with the variable names from the worksheet. So let's take a look at that first. So there's three subroutines behind this user form right now. At the bottom, user form initialize, and this just sets each label caption to the corresponding variable name. So the pretest variable name right now is in cell one, two, row one, column two. So that becomes the caption for label one and I have the same thing for two and three with the post-test and the final exam. Then I have the code behind the enter button, that's command button one, that adds the contents of the text boxes into the appropriate cells on the worksheet. So the active cell is equal to text box one, so wherever you leave the active cell, that's where it's gonna start. And then offset one column for text box two, two columns for text box three, move down one row, so one row, zero columns, and then it calls a subroutine to clear the form. This is reset form, and that's this third subroutine here. So I have text box one dot value equals nothing, and the same thing for two and three, and then I also have this one line of code that sets the focus back to text box one. So if you only have three text boxes, as I do in this example, using this method is fine. You just have three lines of code. However, what if we had 30 or 40 text boxes on that user form and we wanted to clear them? It would become tedious to type out all these lines of code for each text box. And as we delete controls or add controls, we'd have to come back in and manually change this reset form subroutine. So I'm going to show you a different way to clear the user form and then show you a way using frames that gives you even more control over what's cleared. So let's start with these three text boxes. So I'm going to leave this main.textbox1.setfocus line of code in here, but I'm going to delete these three lines of code here that clear the text boxes. And then I'm going to paste in six lines of code. So taking a look at just this code here, first I'm going to declare C as a control, and then we have this for next statement. So for each control in main.controls, and main again is the name of the user form, if type name C control equals text box, then that controls value is set to nothing. 
So this code, these six lines of code, will clear as many text box controls as you have on the user form. So for most situations, it would be more efficient than having an individual line of code for each text box. Now here I'm using text box controls. However, this can be used with any type of control. And not just for clearing the control, but for changing other properties as well. So as of right now, this code is in this reset form subroutine. So it's only called from command button one. So when the user presses enter, the text box controls clear. I want this to be associated also with this clear button. So you can be working on these text box controls and decide you want to clear the form without pressing enter because that's going to enter the data from the text box controls that are populated onto the worksheet. So I want the user to be able to click clear and clear whatever's here and start over. So I'm going to double click on that command button 2 and I'm going to do the same thing here under command button 2 as I did for command button 1, just call reset form. So I'm just going to copy and paste that here. So let's test this out from the worksheet. I have the active cell as cell B7, the next participant. And I'm going to enter in three values, let's say 70, 80, and a final exam score of 100. And I press clear, and it sets all those controls to empty. And the focus is set back on text box 1, the pretest text box. Now that code will work fine when you want to clear all the controls on user form, all the text box controls, or set the properties to whatever controls you have to whatever type of property setting you want. But it can't distinguish between groupings of controls, not in the way I have it set up currently. It just loops through all the controls of a certain type name. You can use a frame. I've left some space here to do that. So, so from the toolbox, I'm going to drag a frame over onto the user form, and resize it a bit, and then again from the toolbox, I'm going to drag over three more text boxes. Just put them right into this new frame. So now if I move over to the worksheet, and I open the user form, Let's just put one, two, three, four, five, and six. I'll just add an integer to each text box. When I press clear, all of the text boxes are set to nothing. Moving back over to the code. So this is under this reset form again, this subroutine here, the one that's called from command button two and from command button 1. I want to change this code so that only the text box controls in this new control, frame 1, are cleared. Not all of the text box controls on the user form. So here in this line of code for each C in main controls, I'm just going to change this and add frame 1 in. So main dot frame 1 dot controls. That's it, just that change. And if I move back to the worksheet, I now go in and add a value to each of the controls and go over to clear, it only clears the text box controls in the frame. I hope you found this video on clearing text box controls on a user form to be helpful. Thanks for watching.